The Gift is a Blumhouse production, which obviously means that it's going to have a really low budget, but still be intriguing enough to get you into the cinemas. However, what really intrigued me was the fact that Joel Edgerton is not only starring in this film, but he actually wrote and directed the movie, and he's actually been doing really great behind the scenes. He wrote The Rover, he's written another film called Felony, now he's taking it full on here. And what we have in this movie is the plot revolving around Jason Bateman and Rebecca Hall's characters. They're a couple that have moved from Chicago back to Bateman's hometown and they're living there, everything's supposed to be chill, until they come across an old friend played by Joel Edgerton named Gordo, and he is known as Gordo the Weirdo. And Gordo the Weirdo ends up coming up way too many times to visit them, and things start to get a little bit creepy. Now this is a film that's been getting a lot of credit for being a really great thriller, and it really is a really good thriller. They are able to build it up in very few locations where you're just building up on this paranoia, trying to figure out what in the world is happening, what is the backstory to these people, and what really happened in the past that's coming back to actually affect them. And what I really liked about the story is that it's more of a moral type of lesson, and where you're building up to something where it's not just a haha -ha, revenge, it's more of someone is trying to teach the other person something and they want them to feel that same exact way and you really feel that within these characters because these characters aren't necessarily black and white there are shades of gray between these characters sometimes they're good aspects of them sometimes there's bad aspects of them and I really like that because the movie starts actually playing with your head that being said there are still very long moments in this movie where they want to hold off sort of like explaining everything to you that you know that big twist and revealing it so they have a lot of time just looking at Rebecca Hall at home and her being paranoid and it sometimes drags a little bit and you're sort of like all right can we just get there to to that point instead of just being here and seeing her just looking all around her house and there's also the ending which while it's very effective like I said I think to many people they're expecting something bigger and this is more again like I said a moral lesson and even the way that it's done you may be thinking they're going oh this is very effective and maybe you'll start thinking but it's 2015 he could probably check this out a bit more or maybe he doesn't want somebody else to find out and again it's sort of a riddle thing so well it's not like the biggest thing at first it still stays with your mind which is what a good thriller is supposed to do have you think about the events that you just saw occur on screen. So The Gift is definitely a movie that while it has a lower budget, does a really good job of having actors who really personify who they're supposed to be, show you a good and the bad on each character, builds up on that paranoia in just a limited room that they have there in their household, and as it builds up to something that I find to be not necessarily the biggest sort of revenge twist, but more so a moral twist and where you're supposed to feel something towards the end of it. So I would say definitely go check it out, definitely let me know down below what you thought about it, we can discuss it, things dealing with the end, things dealing with the jump scares that really come out of nowhere. It's not necessarily a horror, it's a thriller, but they have some random jump scares where they come out of nowhere really, like a dog or a person in the shower. Even that duct tape scene that comes out of nowhere just super loud just to get you to jump. We can discuss all that down below in the comment section, and as always, until next time, I'll see you guys later.